Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Mary. I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me session today. This is how I started today with my makeup and this is the final product. Very light coverage, um, very simple, easy process. I don't use a lot of products. All of my products are in one compact. I used one brush today for my face and my eyes and then I use mascara. If that's something you're interested in, keep watching and I will see you guys on the other side. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows today and I am doing the NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch. This is a brow pen. This has been my favorite brow pen that I've tried even over the Glossier Brow Flick. I just like the the fineness, the, the formula is really good. I would say that the formula doesn't stay as well as the Glossier Brow Flick but I have a trick for that to make this stay even longer. And I'll be sharing a YouTube short this week on how to make, um, if you are using the NYX brow pen and you're having a problem with longevity, the video I'm doing later this week will be what you're looking for to help keep your um, brows on longer throughout the day. If you have kids that touch your face, me, um, and you can relate, then you're gonna wanna check that out. Oh, if you like this look, Check out the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. This is in the color Ash Brown. And I'm mostly just following my natural brow line. And then anywhere that's sparse, I just fill in. And some areas I'm not even, it's not even patchy. I just don't have any hairs there. Make sure they're the same darkness. It's always a struggle getting these eyebrows to look the same. And even from the day before, I feel like they're always a little bit different than the day before, even though I follow the same routine every single time. I'm gonna do contour and bronzer first, and I'll show you what I'm using, especially for those that are new here um, that haven't seen my channel before, I'll show you how I do that. So this is the palette I'm working out of today. This is my triple decker. I've got three tiers, so I've got all my cream contours and um, bronzers and foundation and concealer up here on this top tier. And then the second tier is my lip and cheek colors. Um, and then my third tier is my eyeshadows. So I've got all of that makeup in one. This is what I preach about. I preach about this makeup. All right, so I'm gonna start with my contour, which is this color right here. This one's called Stone. It's a little bit warmer than I usually use, but I've had a little bit more color in my face during the summer, so I think it's worked fine. And then I, kind of, I just start up here by my ear and then take that color down into where I have like a natural dip. You can see this natural dip and I just follow along that. If you don't have that dip, you're just gonna follow along the bottom of your cheekbone. The top of your cheekbone's here. You don't wanna put it up here. You wanna do it down below your cheekbone. And for most people, it usually starts right here at the top of the ear where the ear and the face connect. So I'm just gonna follow that and I do, again, I do have the natural dip, so I just follow, that makes it easy. The next color I'm gonna use is my bronzer, which is called Tan Lines, which is right here. Um, I typically have used a darker bronzer in the past, but I've been using Tan Lines and I've been really enjoying it. It's just got a really soft caramel color, and I'm just gonna apply that right above my contour and anywhere that I like bronzer. Okay, the next color I'm gonna put on is my main foundation color, which is right here. This one's called Candlelit. I'm applying my foundation around my beard area and around my mustache area. I'm not applying my foundation all over my face, but I like doing this because it allows me to use less makeup and gives me a more natural finish and a more light coverage and more skin-like texture. And then anywhere that I have like blemishes or spots, I can go in and conceal those with more of that color. Next color I'm using is my concealer brightening color this color right here, it's called White Peach. And I am just putting that underneath my eyes. I've got some hyperpigmentation, some freckling, and some veins underneath my eyes. So I like to just brighten those up a little bit. They also add, they also make it look more like I have eye bags, just the way that my freckles sit. And I am prone to get eye bags, but this just helps a little bit with that. And then a little bit of that brightening color right here. I'm going to spray my blending brush brush and I'm going to press my color into my face. It actually fuses the setting spray in with the, the products and it also helps to just get this beautiful blend guys. It just it makes it look like there's no makeup on my face and I'm starting with the lightest colors first and then I'm going to move into my darker colors but you can do it the other way too. These colors will not bleed into each other because the brush does not hold much product 
So it just it just makes the blending process just very simple, and so you don't have to remember which one you did, need to do first. Darks or lights doesn't matter. Pick one. Some people just blend them all together, just like a big wash. So you kind of play with it and see what works for you and what you like. And then I'm going to take some of that contour color and blend it in. And I need a little bit of coverage over here. That's another thing too is I don't put makeup all over my whole face. If I need it, I put it there. If I want it, I put it there. Now for some color. I'm going to use this lip and cheek color, which I use for blush and for my lips. Um, today I'm just using it for my, my cheeks. And then I'm going to top it off with this semi-gloss lip and cheek color here, which is called Candy. And use that for my cheeks and give me a little bit of color, a little bit of shine, a little bit of light. I feel like blush just ties it all in. I don't know. What do you guys think? Any blush lovers? Any blush lovers here? It just makes it feel like you just put it all together. Add a little color to your face. Don't look so blase. Blase. And I'm going to put a little bit of this Sunshine State, which is this color. It's more of a gloss, like a a glistening gloss. See how my under eyes look? Okay. I'm actually going to go in with one of my lip and cheek colors for my eyes. This is called Nude. It's this brownish, purplish color. And I'm just going to use that for my eyeshadow today. If you can ever find multiple ways to use your makeup, then do it. It not only makes it more fun and interesting, but it also saves money and time and effort. And if you're not super makeup savvy, it just it's just a no-brainer. Easy. I'm always about easy. And I, oh, what brush I'm using? Still using the exact same brush, guys. I'm using one brush for this look today. And it's just the tapered end of this brush. And technically this is two brushes because there's two ends to it, but... Um, I'm just using that other more tapered, dense side. Take a little bit of that color underneath. I'm just using Makeup Forever setting powder. I like to powder under my eyes, but not too much because I still am aging. And I just feel like the more stuff I have underneath my eyes, the older and the older I look. And this, just the more attention it draws to the fine lines and wrinkles and divots and things that I'm getting underneath my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do some mascara, which I'm using L'Oreal. Just says L'Oreal on it. I don't even know which one this is. But it's L'Oreal. This is what the brush looks like. Just put it on my eyes. guys that is the finished look um, get a little bit closer here you can see very simple very easy very fast very light coverage so I hope you guys liked this video give it a thumbs up I will see you guys next week with another video and I hope you guys have a great Tuesday bye